Hi guys, I don't know if this sounds gonna be great, but um, I'm on a MacBook Pro, that's important to know. So Ctrl Alt T, it has an NVIDIA GeForce 9400M. And I've, well, we're focusing on NVIDIA and on drivers and all that these days. And I had a what if, I had an experiment, so what, doesn't matter really, just a test machine. So what if I remove all drivers and let the kernel do the driving <laughs> let's say <laughs> so xf so read about arch wiki xorg i was reading this and i've got an idea so xf86 this is what i can install right s what i can install we want to provide the video uh, i run an iso that's gonna work on all machines and i guess that's go not gonna be possible because sometimes things do conflict but because well you have the new machines and the old machines <laughs> and it makes a choice there but the idea was let's see what i can still remove this is it i can remove the input which I'm not gonna do, no, all the videos are gone. I have zero XF86 video drivers. I can't remove any of them, meaning they're not there, they're just not installed. And even now, as you can see, right, Ctrl-C here, even now, as you can see, it's just booting. It's no, there's no issue, there's no problem. If the kernel, which is this particular kernel at this point in time, so we'll know for later, is this little kernel that's doing the job. And I don't know if it's jittery or not, not maybe that smooth, but hey, this is an old machine. This is System Profiler DMI. How old is this guy already? I often check this, the date of uh, the bias. So, 11 years, poor thing. So, may it give inspiration, may it give courage to say, all right, I'm gonna try that too and see what happens. Of course, you don't do that on a working machine, you do it on a testing machine, or when you are uh, having, you just did a clean install. Then, what's, then, then the testing starts. But hey, try it out, cheers.